Hello, everybody. My name is Kevin Ramos, New York Jets fan since 1982. Uh, the 2022 regular season has ended for the New York Jets, and they ended on a tough fashion on a six-game skid, losing 11-6 to six to the hated Miami Dolphins. As you can see, I don't have my Jets shirt on because it's uh, it's in the cleaners. I'm put, getting it ready for next season, so to speak. Uh, this game, the offense was, uh, again, offensive. Uh, the offensive line was, was awful. Uh, Joe Flacco in what probably will be his last NFL game, he, he was okay at quarterback. So I'm not going to be too harsh on him. Uh, the big bright spot on the offensive end for the Jets, Garrett Wilson, nine catches, 89 yards. Garrett Wilson is the truth. If uh, Elijah Moore can have a better season next year to compliment uh, Garrett Wilson and you know, if if Corey Davis is back, if Denzel Mims is back, I'm sure the Jets will get a couple of new receivers. Uh, I don't think Braxton Berrios is is good enough. Uh, you you got something there. Obviously, the big thing that killed the Jets was uh, throughout the season were uh, the injuries to Elijah Vera Tucker, the uh, left tackle slash guard. Uh, he was playing pretty much every position at, at some point early in the season and the loss of the fine rookie running back from Iowa State, uh, Brees Hall. Uh, so you can't blame everything uh, on Zach Wilson from the offensive uh, uh, standpoint. You know, you got to bl blame Michael Floor, the offensive coordinator, uh, some really terrible game plans. I figured a couple of days after the game, uh, this last game against Miami, I figured Michael Floor would be fired, but it looks like for now they're going to uh, commit to Michael Floor for next season. Uh, Robert Sala, I don't think he should get fired, even though a lot of people are calling for uh, his head because of that uh, six-game losing streak. Obviously, uh, they were 7-4 and four and looked like a lock to go to the playoffs. Uh, but it, in context, in fairness to Robert Sala, uh, they went from two wins the year before he got there under Adam Gase to four wins and this year to seven wins. It's even though the Jets... Uh, stumble and crash landed so to speak to end the season it's hard to uh fire a coach that basically won more games this year than the previous two years put together and it's also hard to fire a coach who this year almost doubled the win total from his first year so even though uh robert salas made a lot of mistakes at the same time there there is progress uh you got to talk about Sauce Gardner. The man is the truth, man. Uh, at, at cornerback, he's going to be a, you know, hopefully he he doesn't get hurt and he'll be a, a Jet for the next 10, 15 years. Uh, I'm not going to get, I'm not, you know, I've been on the defense a lot uh, because they uh, contributed to the late season collapse. But in this really meaningless game against the Dolphins, they, they play their lights. They play their hearts out uh, to end the season. So only gave up three field goals. So, I'm not going to be too harsh on them. You just you got to blame the offense, the offensive scheme, the offensive coaching, and uh, the offensive line. And uh, they are going to really need to retool that offensive line. I don't really trust Makai Beck, and I know I've said that before. Uh, really, they just need to get some of these SEC, uh, Georgia Bulldog, Alabama Crimson Tide. Uh, you know, none of these, none of these whack offensive linemen. None of these guys from Conference USA. None of these offensive these. 205 pound offensive lineman from the Ivy League or from South Dakota State or Sacramento State. No, you need to get some Ohio State boys, some Big Ten boys, some Michigan boys, you know, some Georgia boys. That, that, that's what you need. You need some, some real offensive linemen out there. Uh, so let's see what uh, Joe uh, Douglas does in the draft and in free agency. As far as quarterback, you know, uh, allegedly the Jets are in line to get uh, try to get Lamar Jackson. I don't think the Jets uh, are going to get him. I don't think they should get him. I mean, he's he's off injured, uh, just like Jimmy Garoppolo. But uh, Jimmy Garoppolo fits the Jets uh, offensive scheme much better. And, uh, you know, Lamar Jackson is more of a running quarterback. And with this offensive line, Lamar Jackson better run. He he needs to be Randall Cunningham and Steve Young rolling to one if he's going to come to the Jets. Plus, the Jets would have to basically give up, uh, you know, a lot of picks for basically the next few years, and I don't think the Jets should do that. Uh, you know, it really, for me, as far as a quarterback, even though you're going to keep Zach Wilson, if you're going to bring in a veteran, 
you either bring in Jimmy G or you bring in Derek Carr. Uh, obviously, you're not going to bring in Tom Brady. Uh, you're not going to bring in Aaron Rodgers. So um, I think that's uh, that's the way to go for quarterback. It's going to be either Jimmy G or uh, Derek Carr. I, you know, I'm not sold on Mike White. I think Mike White has peaked as a quarterback. I don't think uh, he'll play any better than what he uh, played this year. So uh, we'll see what happens uh, the next couple of months in you know free agency and the draft. So I guess I'll uh, talk to you then. Bye.